What's up, Caddy Wampus crew? It's Jason. Welcome back to Caddy Wampus Acres. Today we have a lot of stuff to do, more than uh, we've ever had to do. Uh, we have a lot of new additions on the farm, and we have to do our 5,000 subscriber giveaway. We have just hit 5,000 subscribers. We're past it now, but um, it's it's incredible. It was only 18 months ago we started the journey and YouTube and everything, and sort of following our self-sufficiency journey. And next thing you know, we're at 5,000 subscribers. So just hang around with us, and we are going to give you the details on the giveaway. But we have a lot of stuff to do. We got to go to Jensen. We got to restock some sto soaps. We are going to pick up rabbits. So uh, if you watched one of our old videos where we said we would never have rabbits, we're going to have rabbits. We're hoping to see how we like them and use their poop for compost in our garden. And we also, it will show you when we get back to the homestead, we also just got a package of bees. So I'm going to be installing a package of bees today. This isn't going to be like an educational video because I'm learning, but we, yeah. We just had what appears to be our actual legitimate last frost last night. So now we can actually start getting all the plants in the ground. So what we are going to do is, once we get all this stuff done, we are going to go back to the homestead and we're going to do a little spring tour because we haven't done a tour in a while. We have, with 5,000 subscribers, we have a lot of people who haven't been on a tour with us before. So we'll do a whole tour of the homestead and get you up to date with everything that's going on here on the farm. All right, well, we are headed back home after our many, many runs today. And Hadley, why don't you show everybody what we got? One of the bunnies that we just picked up. Look at that. We got a name for him yet? I don't know. No. And there's an, his, he's got a, a brother down in the box, right? Yep. We now have uh, New Zealand rabbits. So we will see how we do with those. We just got a couple of bucks. So we're not going to breed yet. And we're not going to eat these ones immediately. Um, but we'll see how, as time goes by, uh, what we decide to do with them. So comment down below if you guys raise rabbits in New Zealand's or anything like that. And tell us what you think about them. And give us your rabbit raising tips down below as well. So we're decided to get rabbits um, since their manure is uh, cold fertilizer. So their manure can go straight onto plants um, as fertilizer. So that is the plan. That is the reason behind the rabbits initially. Uh, if we go into meat rabbits or um, breeding or anything like that later, um, and I I know I know I said in a previous video that I would never want to do rabbits and now we have rabbits we do have to get home and get the package installed because i got the the hive is all ready to go i got to put a few frames together and then i got to get this package in and off to the races real quick the thing i did want to cover is we have some also some exciting news and you would already know this news if you follow us on facebook or instagram um, but we do have some something new that we are doing here and so lauren do you want to tell yeah we lot we launched um cattywampusacres.com um so if you go ahead and search that you'll see our our website um everything from our soap sales to our cattywampus crew t-shirts uh and then a little brief history of us but we're super excited about the new website it makes it easier for you guys um to get uh any of our products communicate with us and um, then it's another you know place where we can put out information um, directly to you guys yeah so even if you're not gonna buy our soaps just make sure you check out www.cattywampusacres.com and uh, shoot us a little uh, message in the comments section over there and uh, make sure you check it out all right let's get back to the house and get all these homesteading chores uh, taken care of. Since we work full-time jobs here, we have everything accessible. I would recommend that anybody who homesteads, that if you still have like a full-time job to work, or even if you don't, I would always recommend having everything sort of in like a circle kind of setup or, you know, where you can get to it really easy. Because I couldn't imagine having to drive 
to our other, you know, to all of our animals and garden and all that stuff. So right here behind us, we have a sleeping pig and we'll see if we can get him out. So Ollie here is our mini pig. He's a, he's either an American mini pig or a Juliana or something. We don't know. Um, it's okay. We like him no matter what he is. Uh, he's a full grown mini pig and he's uh, he's the one we keep him around. He's a great pet. He's friendly and um, he often acts as a companion to our goats and we have to move our goats qu around quite a bit because maybe we don't want somebody to be bred or we're trying to breed somebody in particular and so we make sure that we keep um, everybody sort of happy with some friends and certain um, certain folks like Ollie and our weather goats that we'll show you they like each other a lot so they like to hang out quite a bit we'll go over here and show you our does all right so here we are in our doe pen each pen plays a different role whenever we need it to. Um, they are all in here because this is attached to our milk barn. Um, so we have Ruka, who is American La Mantra. We have Luna, who is also American La Mantra. Mm -hmm. And we've got three Nigerian dwarf does, um, Tina, Jolene, and Tina. And then we have <laughs> Willie. Willie was born last month. He belongs to Luna. And then this is his brother. Um, Willie will stay here. He's gonna become a uh, breeding buck for us. So they belong to Luna and he will have a new home someday. But Willie's super friendly, as you can see, and um, full of personality. And so he will um, go to, to another pen uh, in a couple months. Hi. 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 So these are all layer chickens for the most part. Uh, any of them can become meat chickens, I guess, at any time, but um, we have I don't know, 50 or 60 or so right now. We've been raising layer chickens since the beginning, and I would always recommend that if you're starting a homestead, always start with some chickens. Chickens and goats, in my opinion, are the easiest animals to start with. So they are, they're pretty awesome. We have a bunch of different breeds. Sorry about the camera action here. We got a bunch of different breeds, and... <laughs> Uh, we have roosters, we have hens, and they give us two to three dozen eggs a day. It's pretty, um, pretty awesome. So we all we, we never have to worry about eggs ever. Right here is our goat barn, and we have a video, and I'll put a link to our video up in the top of this, so you can check that out. This is the entrance to our milk barn that we just finished, and so this is like a pop door for goats. Pretty awesome. Ellery's over here with our silkies, so why don't you tell us about our silkies, Ellery? Um, this is actually a sizzle. It is a silky frizzle mix, and um, this is a hen, and I think the one over there, that's a regular, those two are regular silkies, but that one is a showgirl. Down below here, you probably can't see because they're a little bit scared of everything. We have a couple Cornish Cross. Uh, they came into our farm yesterday because some friends uh, didn't realize they had gotten uh, Cornish Cross and so now we have them and so those will be meat chickens. This is our milk barn. This is where we bring our goats to be milked. You can hear them in the background because they think they need to be milked right now. They do not. They just want grain. Um, sort of bad habits that they sort of learn after a while, but um, I'll uh, show you a little example how this works in here When we're ready for the does We'll open this door here Open it all the way. I'm not going to because they will come running in here put them up here in a milk stand and we'll wash them down and Do our milking there. We also keep all of our like animal medical supplies in here. So this area is a pretty nice area. I've got electricity out here, and pretty soon, and stay tuned, we're gonna have a, um, I'm gonna build an automatic milker. Pretty nice one. I got. I ordered a bunch of parts, and we got pulsators and all this stuff coming, so we're gonna have a nice milking setup right here in this barn. It's gonna be fantastic. Here we've got our two new additions. This is Tucker, and that is Felix. And uh, this is the setup we have for him. Uh, we'll put a more permanent roof on uh, over top of them. Um, and down here, we're gonna catch all of their uh, manure. So that is their purpose. They are here um, to produce fertilizer for us for the garden. Um, rabbit poop is awesome fertilizer. Can doesn't need a compost. Can go straight onto um, the soil and the plants. So that is them. Besides uh, super adorable and awesome cuddles, that is their purpose here. Um, they are New Zealand uh, rabbits, and so they are a. Um, 
meat variety of rabbit. Uh, there, these are both bucks if we wanted to get another doe. Right now we are good with these two and um, what they're here for. Fiona's our mini donkey. You'll see her in a lot of our videos. She does sort of a, she is sort of a protection animal. It's mainly Lauren's pet. We occasionally let Fiona out to just roam and graze the yard. She, she stays put. So this is our pen on the other end of the house. And in here we have Francine. She's one of our American La Manchas. She hasn't been bred yet. We're trying to breed her with Mr. Miyagi, this handsome <laughs> fellow here. And so we can get some mini manjas. We're <laughs> excited to try them. And we got our two weathers, Bojangles. And if you can see way far in the background there, that's Buford just hanging out. I don't know what he's got going on today. <laughs> um, so yeah, these are, this is, this is the separation we do because now that our girls are in milk, we don't want Miyagi fooling around with the girls that are in milk because it will absolutely ruin the taste of our milk. Here comes Buford. He Come wanted, wanted to be part of the show. <laughs> Well, if you couldn't tell already, this is our greenhouse. Uh, if you've never seen our greenhouse video, I recommend that you check it out. This is, we turned the whole bunch of garbage destined for the landfill windows and repurposed them and made them into this greenhouse here. And as you can see behind us here, we got tons of plants ready to go. So these are American Giant Pumpkins and this is for the hashtag Hoss Pumpkin Boss little growing competition so there's some other youtubers that are getting in on this and so we're excited we started these a little while back and they're really taking off i think we're going to plant these in the orchard i want to see how they can go and we're going to baby these bad boys and just last night i thought of a really good idea on how to weigh them but i'm not going to spoil it yet because then i would be giving away all my tips and we can't have that make sure you check out uh four kids in the farm uh, they're the ones running the little competition uh, along with Hoss Tools and it's hashtag Hoss Pumpkin Boss and you got to grow one of Hoss's four uh, giant pumpkin varieties. We are doing the Atlantic Giant. I think we got the best shot with those and we'll see how it goes. Here is our strawberry bed and this is, this is right next to our greenhouse which is right on the edge of our orchard. As you can see everything's planted really close together. Uh, that's a little bit... Um, uh, I think it was Luke from MI Gardener that recommended doing it. And these are just regular sized trees. These aren't dwarf trees. We prune them and we keep them uh, smaller size. Eventually, this is going to be a lush canopy across the top here, about eight, nine feet tall. And just uh, all these beautiful blooms for all these lovely uh, pollinators to come through and just go flower to flower. We're going to take you a little closer on some of these. All right, so this is our snow angel our white snow angel peach tree. Uh, this is about three years old and you can see it is loaded with peaches. Um, this is an early bloomer. Um, so about February, we started getting blossoms on this. Uh, and so now we've got all these itty bitty peaches, these fruits um, that need to be thinned or else they're gonna be way too heavy uh, in a few weeks when they mature. So super excited about these. Um, this will be the first real fruiting like full fruiting that we're going to get from this tree so on our channel we really preach pruning a lot on a lot of different things and if you look behind me these trees here these are from these were planted last year we already got a ton of plums we have alberta peaches santa rosa plums kefir and bartlett pears fuji and gala apples back behind me we have fig trees here. We have a persimmon tree back there. We have rose of berries. We have a lemon tree, a Meyer lemon over here. And this is all in about a 40 by 40 area. We are certainly trying to turn this into a food forest because we think it's going to be really awesome when that happens and we can come out here and not only will we have all this fruit up above us, we'll be able to plant stuff below and keep a uh, nice uh, flora going down here and keep all the nice worms and and everything going and, and put compost in here and everything's just going to be lovely all our of our all of these trees except for maybe one or two came from ison's nursery uh, which is in georgia just a couple hours south of us here so we got local trees from a local nursery and they are doing great they're yeah. doing really well so prune your trees don't forget to prune your trees
So this is our enclosed garden. And I'll give you a brief, in the middle is a little untamed right now. We're gonna be putting raised beds in here. Um, and you can see, you can start to see we use this garden fabric. But this is all broccoli, this is all from Haas Tools. A lot of our, majority of our seeds come from Haas Tools um, down in South Georgia. Awesome folks, uh, Greg and Travis, make sure you check them out. And so all these here are broccoli. We have kale here, it's looking good. We have some cabbage that we planted last year. We actually just ate, and that's there's a couple missing. We just ate those tonight. We also have our more cabbage started here. So we have some more cabbage here. Out here we have potatoes started in these grow bags. We're gonna try them, we'll see how they go. Right here uh, we have some Mary Washington asparagus, and down here so we have some Jersey Giants. This is a muscadine. I don't know if it's alive anymore. It's probably not, but we think the pigs killed it when we had them in here last year. So we're just giving it one last go, and if it doesn't, we're gonna take it out. You'll probably see there's raspberries popping up random places. We have to just find them as we go and pull them or relocate them. But we have some cauliflower in here. We have some butterhead lettuce in here. And then in this long patch, if you watch one of our other videos, this is where we planted our potatoes. So in here we have Kennebec potatoes and you can see that they're starting to come out. So back here is our American guinea hogs. We have two American guinea hogs left. We just have them in some electric and we're gonna do a whole hog roast with these last two. We started with like seven or 10 or something and we've slowly um, broken them down into cuts and um, we've done some educational stuff which was pretty fun. So we have two left and we will be um, processing them here at the end of the month. Here I am in the entrance to our big garden. This garden is about 75 feet long by about 30 feet wide. In the entryway here where you have, this is where we grow our loofah. Here on our farm we make uh, goat milk soaps and so we like to sell the loofah in addition to our goat milk soap and it's really nice and sometimes we'll even combine the two and make a, a loofah filled bar of soap. It's pretty awesome. So that we grow them up these trellises here and then behind me here, Right here I have a row of sunflowers. These are Haas Pro Cut sunflowers. Uh, then we have some greens growing next to it. We're gonna be planting our corn in the rows there. And then we had some storms, we had a tree fall, we had a whole bunch of stuff happen. And so we gotta re-straighten out our fabric in there. But then down at the end, we're just trying to see if we can finish off some Brussels sprouts and squash and we're gonna put all of our nightshades and stuff in here so really excited our garden's gonna be huge this year make sure you stay with the channel because there's gonna be so much growing and so many growing tips we're gonna go through this year it's gonna be amazing gotta get this package of bees inside this is my first package install ever so all you longtime beekeepers be kind in your comments but i welcome constructive criticism so we got a uh, all of my stuff from Harold over at Lanier Bee Barn up in Commerce, Georgia. Harold's a really good guy, he's a journeyman beekeeper, and um, although I don't know a lot, so far he's taught me everything I know. One last thing, uh, you see Lauren's uh, rose bed back behind us. It's a queen size bed, but it's for roses. I just couldn't bring myself to toss it in the trash. And so I said, we're gonna make it a rose bed. So we spray painted it, filled it with dirt, and put roses in it. And knockout roses in there, mm -hmm. some mini roses and some climbing ivy. So mm -hmm. should be Can't pretty cool. Can't wait to see what it looks like. And hopefully it covers up that, that stump. We, we'll we're, we're just sort of getting into the flower thing this year. The flower mm -hmm. thing is sort of new to us, so we're going to give it a go and uh, see how it goes up. Now for the part you've all been waiting for. Uh, honestly, this is we're going to talk about our 5,000 subscriber giveaway. Um, I wish we could give away more, um, but honestly, we never thought in 18 months um, on YouTube we would have 5,000 subscribers. I was hoping maybe in a year maybe we would have a thousand 
and it just sort of skyrocketed and thanks to you guys 100% um, to the, you subscribers out there and our cattywampus crew it's you're the only reason that everything's been sort of blowing up for us and it's really awesome and we're excited that you're that you're coming along to grow with us and learn from us and I think what we try to do is learn together because we try and show our mishaps and our boo-boos and our errors and our successes and everything else so we don't want to we don't want to hide much from you because you're going to have as you homestead and as you farm you're going to have these stumbles and and pitfalls and stuff like that and so we want to share those with you and let you know you're not alone but thank you all so much we want to just say thank you by giving some stuff away what we need you to do is we need you to comment down below and we need you to hit the sub if you haven't subscribed yet make sure you hit the subscribe button mm -hmm. make sure you hit the bell notification and we'll use a random uh picker thing uh and we'll we'll pick who wins from the comments yeah we're so appreciative of all of you uh subscribers that that put up listening to my husband um but just uh also what we've learned from you guys um I mean, we've sold goats from people over YouTube and all of the connections that we've been able to um, have has just been phenomenal. Um, so what we want to do to thank you guys is we want to put together a little package. Uh, of course, we're going to include some of our goat milk soap. We're going to get you a t-shirt uh, as you're part of the Cattywampus crew. Um, and also my boss at Jensen Reserve wants to throw in some stuff uh, to help support us. Um, Laura Jensen is absolutely awesome to work for. She's got a really cool thing going over at Jensen Reserve. Um, so we're going to put together a packet uh, from her store. Jensen Reserve, uh, check them out on YouTube. Check them out at jensensreserve.com. We got Steven. Steven. So we're gonna pick. We're gonna pick a couple of y'all, and um, we'll have somebody will get uh, just a t-shirt, soap, and some stuff from Jensen, and then the other person will get t-shirt, soap, and a Home Depot gift card, fifty-dollar Home Depot gift card. So uh, make sure you have to comment like the video make sure you subscribe make sure you got that bell uh ringing down there at the bottom so you can keep up to date with everything we're doing here in the farm and we will let you know in our vi next video uh who won and we'll shoot you an email and get your t-shirt size and all that stuff so once again thank you so much for everything you've done for us don't forget to check us out on instagram and facebook um follow us for all of our day-to-day -day updates and nonsense that goes on at the farm um and don't forget to check out our new website www.cattywampusacres.com www.cattywampusacres.com you can buy soap you can buy t-shirts um you can communicate with us and uh just give us some feedback what do you guys think about the new website and we just appreciate you all so so much we're also going to put our new p.o box down below oh yeah we have a PO and box. so if you just want to send us just a, a little snail mail communication or whatever to just let us know so we'll have all that stuff we're gonna redo our description box down there and we'll make sure that you guys have an opportunity so if you want to reach out to us through mail if you don't like doing all the internet communications the social media you can still reach out to us by writing us a letter or something like that we'd really appreciate that and just just uh, we love meeting y'all we love talking to y'all and um, and just sort of becoming part of a, a big homesteading family that's our beginning spring whatever you want to call it 2021 homestead tour this is our 5,000 5,000 subscriber giveaway uh, we got so much stuff going we got babies still coming the Nigerian dwarfs are due any day now we're gonna have a whole bunch of plants in this garden this orchards exploding um, and we have so many more projects to do the one thing we never want you to forget and we always try to remind you is is when you homestead you're home fed. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks.